Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to discuss the pros and cons of owning a chubby frog. Now personally, I think there are way more pros than cons, but we'll just get right into it. So I thought I would start off with the cons. So one of the cons being that these frogs don't really do much. Most of the time he's just sitting there under this log that he has retreated under since leaving his water bowl. So usually he's under there and he never comes out unless it is dark. And even then I rarely see him out at night. His lights will be shutting off soon so he is being a little bit more active. But for the most part, these frogs don't do much. Another con I would say is these can't be handled. So like a lot of amphibians, they shouldn't be handled much. It's not good for them. It's not good for the oils and anything on your skin to get onto their skin. So these aren't the kind of pets that you could take out and play with and handle because it can be very harmful to them. So the next thing would be that from what I've read, oftentimes the chubby frogs you're seeing at pet stores are wild caught and their populations are prolific in the wild where they're from but they are usually wild caught and I guess that could risk a chance of parasites and other diseases that your frog might just come in with. For some people I would say this is a con because they eat live insects and some people don't like live bugs, they don't like to touch them or they feel bad for them but these guys do eat live insects and some people don't like to deal with that. One more thing I would say is a con is that these guys can be kind of noisy. Mine is a male, so I have heard him making noise at night, croaking mostly. I haven't heard him doing the loud bellowing call that this species does in the wild during mating season. But something to keep in mind is that if you do have a male, they could be noisy, and if they're in your bedroom, it could keep you up. So now I'd like to move on to the pros. One of the pros being that these guys don't require a huge amount of space. I have mine in an 18 by 18 by 18 enclosure. I've seen people keep them in 10 gallons, 20 gallons, and 15 gallons. Since these guys usually sit still and don't move around much, they don't actually require huge tanks like other reptiles and amphibians might. These guys are relatively inexpensive, so if you're looking to get one, you don't need to worry about spending huge amounts of money just to get one. I think that this one could also be a con, but they do live a while. These guys can live up to 10 years, so if you're looking for an animal that will live a while, these guys definitely will live a good amount of time. Stay small. My chubby frog is fully grown, and he fits right in the palm of my hand. I do not require a huge water feature. They're happy with just a dish filled with water, like what you saw him sitting in earlier. These guys have relatively easy care requirements. They don't require a lot of fancy equipment and things like that in order to take care of them and make sure they're happy and healthy. They don't require a lot of external heating. A heat pad along the back of the tank is usually sufficient unless the room you're keeping them in is very cold. Room temperature is usually good for these guys as long as the room does not go below 68 degrees, which is the recommended nighttime temperature. But usually temperatures in the 70s are perfect. These are easy to find. This might depend on where you live but where I am I do see these guys pretty often in the pet stores sold alongside things like pac-man frogs and tomato frogs. One last pro is that these guys are very cute. I know technically that is a personal opinion but I always find that to be a pro because I think that frogs are adorable especially chubby frogs. So that is it for my pros and cons list. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.